ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Licked on these nuts and suck the dick. Get the fuck out of the yard. Hey, what's happening, Metal? Welcome to the home of Walk and Talk Metal shit. It's a crazy day out here in the Pacific Northwest, but it's a good day to do the Walk and Talk Metal shit. It's been a long time since I've done a video out here, and the weather's horrible within the last month. A lot of rain, a lot of cold, but like I always say, it's a good day to do the Walk and Talk Metal shit. But in this video, I'm going to take in two segments. I'm going to talk about what's happening in the state of Washington, and um, Another set man is going to be breaking down two videos. I'm going to talk about the tricons and the feminists. So what's happening right now, I don't know if you heard, the state of Washington with other states, they got shut down again. Gyms, uh, restaurants, um, all kinds of business locked down for four weeks. I'm reading an article by the local news out here, and I saw the video on the article. They didn't want people to uh, spend Thanksgiving with their family to avoid uh, the virus. Uh, I'm living in some kind of dystopia, honestly. The most nice marriage dystopia there is. It's a nightmare. I'm living a nightmare. For a libertarian, this is a nightmare. For a red pill, it's a, a nightmare. And for a meta, it's definitely a nightmare. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, I well know what's happening. But the thing that bothers me the most is these people that I live right here in the state. I don't know what they watch, what they follow, or what. But all I know, there's a bunch of idiots, useless idiots. Now, before I'm about to get in the park, this is the park that I come over here. This is the studio, and I do my videos here, and I do my exercise. Well, I jump in the a, a parking lot, and I see a bunch of cars lining up. So you don't think I'm bullshitting around anything like that. Check out this video that I'm about to put right now. This happened literally minutes before I walk in the park. You guys are going to see these people lining up, getting tested. Check this out, and I will continue to do the walk and talk metal shit. See you in a bit, gentlemen. Welcome back, gentlemen. I don't know what kind of people would line up themselves to get tested like that. Well, this is going to be the same people that are going to be lined up and get their vaccine first. So good luck to them. Good luck to them. So let me get into the topic at hand that I really want to discuss right now. There's no difference between the Tricon and the feminist. So I'm going to break it down with the Tricon because the reason I'm making this video, I saw this uh, TV personality out there on the internet and a lot of radio personality too and podcasters, they figure they got this metal philosophy figured out, but they don't know anything about it. So let's get to the Tricon first. Well, the Tricon, they pretend they like men. They pretend they want to be nice to men. And they want men to go back to the plantation to be a slave to a wife. They believe in a strong family nuclear, right? And we all know that it's just deception and lies when it's Tricon, conservative value nation, so on and so forth, right? To me, the way I see the Tricon, there's no difference between the feminists. All they're trying to do is bamboozle men to go back to the good old days where those days are gone. They were gone. We can discuss, which we beat the dead horse many times, the divorce rate, um, you know, what else, divorce rate, you, you name it, the same thing that we talk about all the time, child support, all the money. So we all know that we live in a gynocentric society and government. We all know that, right? That's what Mitta is all about. Just um, warning men not to participate in this um, type of government that it is against men, all right? 
Now, they have this notion, this uh, tricon, that they like us. They like strong men. In reality, they just want to use men for their, uh, to sustain them and stuff like that, okay? Now, we all know that the feminists are just plain nuts, all right? They just crazy. They just crazy. But they have this notion with these um, TV characters and stuff like that, podcasts and people on the radio, that, that Midtown is like the anti-feminist. Yes, we are anti-feminist because we know about feminism. And we talk about feminism because feminism has ruined society, especially in Western society. It has ruined it. It has ruined it. Now, they got this notion that we are like the opposite of feminism, right? The way I see things, that we just point the things out of feminism, we just point that out because it's obviously what feminism has done. It has ruined men and women. But they have this notion that we are like the anti-feminists and all we talk about feminism, stuff like that. We are more like a philosophy, you know, but we are aware of the problem with feminism. Now, we are individual. Meta, we are individual, period. And the reason I come out with this concept with the walk and talk metal shit, because us as metal content creators, all we do is talk shit. We don't organize, we don't rally, we don't have any groups in government. We just, through the internet, we practice our philosophy. So we're not like the feminists like they claim us to be. The feminists are collectivists. They got groups in government all around the world, right? It goes so far, the feminist is in the White House. Ivanka Trump is a well-known feminist. He's a well-known feminist. Not many people know that. She's a practice feminist. So, you know, when you see all these chicks and stuff like that, these young chicks between the age of 21 to like 31, well, they obviously got some issues. Not only that, those chicks out there wishing men, the old men would die and all kinds of stuff. Well, you got to bear that those are the foot soldiers. Those are the little foot soldiers that need attention. Like, women need attention like they need oxygen, right? They really do. So I'm not too concerned about those feminists. I'm concerned to the, the big ones, the big fish, the one out there who's in the, in the Congress, the one out there in the Senate, the one out there, like I said previously, in the White House. Those are the concerns. For, uh, for, for me. But this notion that metal is the, like, the opposite of feminism, nah, we're not collective. We are individual, then we express our philosophy to the internet. That's all. The most you can get in a group of metal is, what, a, a, a round table with content creator and just talking metal shit. That's all we do. That's all we do. And, uh, well, as far as when it comes down to society, we figure things out that, it's not good for men to be married and cohabitate and participate on the nuclear family. It's done, it's over with, thanks to feminism and those government that practice it. Well, I'm gonna play this video out here by one of these um, TV personalities out there on the internet. And you're gonna see how stupid and asinine she sounds along with her co-host. Well, fella, listen now, it's been going on, a lot of stuff out here on YouTube. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the link below of Rumble, Midtown Out TV, and my podcast. Now, this podcast I'm going to put out here is pretty awesome. This episode right now, I talk about this doctor talking about the pandemic. And also, I talk about this 44-year-old that became a baby sugar. A sugar baby, excuse me. A sugar baby at the age of 44. And how young men are paying her for being a sugar baby at the age of 44 in, in Britain. Unbelievable. So I'm gonna link those below, and I'm almost some partner, so check me on partner. I know it's a lot of shit, but we got to diverse. I have to diverse, honestly. I can put my egg in one basket right here in YouTube. So with this, like I always say, gentlemen, peace. State metal. I definitely catch your next podcast or video. Here she is saying, kill all men in a very candid video. Lovely. Kill all men. I do believe in that. You believe kill all men? I do believe in that. Okay. Yeah. And you can believe in that. Well, yeah. That's your right. I just think men... You know. How's your relationship with your father? Oh, fantastic. He's not in my life, so therefore... He's not in your life! Oh, there it is!
Damn. There it is. Every single time. There it is. Oh my God, you know what I Kill think? all men. Kill all men. I mean. Doesn't have a father. Surprise, surprise. Or terrible relationship with the father. I mean, you can't have a good relationship with your father and be a radical uh, man-hating feminist, I don't think. And this is where it comes from. This is why the father is so important to be in the home. This is why it's so important to create strong nuclear families because of women like that that are trying to destroy all men. I just can't even imagine. That's like, you know, if you're a car mechanic <laughs> or something, you're like, Psh, forget wheels. I don't need a wheel on a car. It's like, <laughs> do you like civilization? You need men. Do you like civilization? You need women. Do you like building civilizations and having a future for humanity? Then you like men and women being together. And these people hate all of it. It's, mm -hmm. the, it's the weirdest thing. But, but that's what it is, Deanna. They've actually separated themselves yeah. from society. They've actually separated themselves from functioning society. They've separated themselves from civilization. So, yeah, burn it all down. Kill all men. Right. That's what they think. And then that created the MGTOW movement, which is like the, the counter movement to the feminist, which is, I, I think you probably know MGTOW. It stands for Men Going Their Own Way. And they're like, well, we don't need women. You know, burn it all down. Burn the whole women down. We don't need women. We're going to just go our own way in life. We don't need to have babies with them. We need to, need to have families with them or relationships with them. We're going to stay away from women all life. And that's, you know, I get that that's a reaction to feminism, but that's not the answer either. I mean, that's kind of just falls right into the plan, the Marxist agenda of divide and conquer. Nobody wins with that burn it all down strategy. But I guarantee you they would take some artificial insemination.